Hello there. I hope you are well because I am excited because today's video is what is the Sims 4 top game packs. This has been a requested video for a very long time about what game packs I like best and why. I'm also going to be making separate videos for what is my favorite stuff pack and also what is my favorite expansion pack. So we're gonna go through them and figure out which ones are the best. Also, I know this is totally random, but I was just out on my deck and I found this. Like, what the hell is this? It was just on my deck. Someone threw it off the street and it's like, hi, I'm Bruce. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it. Alrighty, so the first game pack that was released in The Sims 4 was The Sims for outdoor retreat. And basically this pack was all about taking your Sims out camping to enjoy the great outdoors. Some of the major highlights were the fact that there was a new neighborhood or new world called Granite Falls, which we'll check out in a second. You also got a new skill, the herbalism skill. There was a new outdoor enthusiast aspiration and three new collectibles, which were new fish, collectibles of insects and herbs, uh, which obviously herbs went with the herbalism skill. So basically you could take your Sims camping and go, go explore and go hiking and stuff and just get away for a few days on a vacation. So diving into create a sim, uh, I decided to get the good old crocodile hunter because he loves the great outdoors to show us some of the new clothes. May he rest in peace. Namaste. Anyways, I'm not going to go through all of the clothes and hair because this is not a total review of the pack. That will take me hours. But just to give you guys a bit of an idea, these were some of the new mail items. One of my favorites was this one. We also got the famous bear costume, which I thought was so awesome. And also there's a mini one for kids. Uh, there's also a character in the game called the hermit who you can go and visit if you find the deep woods which is like a secret secret world in this game pack too and in terms of bottoms there was just different shorts and hiking gear and for some odd reason we got like a gazillion shoes which i thought was a little random but hey you know what whatever floats your boat in terms of masculine hair you got the like slicked back i am a prince look or alternatively i've been in a forest and my hair is really greasy because i haven't showered for a few days which I think fits this pack and also the short do as well. For women uh, there were a few really nice hairs in this pack from memory that I really liked. I loved these plaits. I thought this middle part hair was really really gorgeous. In terms of clothes it was pretty similar to the male ones. You have the bear outfit, a couple of nice hiking wear. Um, I love this flanny. I loved the flanny in green. Oh girl put some pants on. And then there was like some cute denim shorts and things. So there's pieces I like but there's nothing that I'm really like oh my god best creator sim items ever. A winner for this pack were these heeled boots, which I know tons of people use. I think they're pretty cute. Um, but yeah, tons of shoes, which is really random. And I have no idea what these are. Those are kind of creepy webbed toe shoes. I guess they're kind of like booties when you go surfing. In terms of kids, there's not a whole lot in this pack. Uh, there is some cute plaits um, and a gorgeous half up, half down hairdo as well, which is quite lovely for outdoor retreat. And that was pretty much it for Kaz, other than of course the new aspiration, which was outdoor enthusiast. So there you go. When you do jump into live mode, uh, you do have the option of going to your phone to take a vacation with the family and you can nominate how many days you wanna go for, uh, which is kind of cool. There's no other places you can vacation to yet, which is probably something I was frustrated with in terms of the pack. Uh, you can only go to Granite Falls. And the other thing is you can't live in Granite Falls. So eh, I don't know, I thought it was a bit restricted in that way. Um, but this is Granite Falls. It's obviously a mini world and uh, there's six slots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so you can choose where you wanna go. Some are more expensive than others. You can go luxury camping. You can go uh, just to a campground and use a tent. Let's just go to one of these small ones to check out uh, what options there are there. So in terms of the world, it was really, really beautifully done. Um, it looks so fresh and clean. I mean, because I am Australian, this definitely looks like a more of a, an American or Canadian landscape. Um, but yeah, there's lots of like logs and wood fires and public toilets, there's rangers walking around the place. So it does feel very much like you're away from the residential worlds, which is kind of nice. 
In terms of build and buy, um, most of the items are very, you know, nature oriented. There's a lot of wood, log cabin aesthetic going on. Uh, so there's a few items you can see in here, but again, I'm not gonna go through them fully. There's plenty of review videos out there, uh, which I'll probably link in the description down below my reviews of each pack. Um, but the other cool thing that I did like about this was that you could go to this little camping office and you could actually buy supplies. So if you wanted a tent, you could carry the tent in your Sims inventory and set it up and invite more friends to come down and camp with you. Um, so there's a blow up bed, an apple if you get a bit peckish. Uh, there's tents here, eskies to keep your food in. So you can do like full on camping if you feel like it. Uh, or you can go glamping if you prefer and kind of, yeah, you know, enjoy a more upmarket experience in a cabin or something. So that's pretty much a general overview of the Sims 4 outdoor retreat. Moving on. The next Sims 4 game pack that came out was the Sims 4 Spa Day, which was a pack focused on your Sims health and wellness gives you the ability for your Sims to go to a spa lot and to go have a sauna, go have a mud bath, do a yoga class. Probably the highlight for me in this pack was actually the build and buy mode. I love the build and buy mode pieces in this pack so much. Before I forget, there was also the addition of a brand new skill, the wellness skill, which you can build up from doing yoga at home and meditation. There was also a new death, which is the sauna death, which I love, cause I don't know why I'm a creep in that way when I play Sims. Anyways, let's jump into casts. So I decided who likes wellness and keeping in shape, who other than The Rock? So here is The Rock Lee. Uh, he's wearing a couple of the new items from the Spa Day pack, but as a quick overview, they're obviously kind of active wear, loungy wear. I particularly love this jumper and this little crop top's hilarious. Um, so there are a few new items. I don't know why those are sitting there. There's also robes, which I love in this pack. I always wear robes whenever I stay at a hotel. I love a good robe. And in terms of shorts, there's a lot of sports shorts, which I think is handy for active wear. In terms of hair, there was this random uh, half balding hair, which I thought was really funny. And we've also got the slick combed back look and my f one of my favorite hairs actually, the long on top and shaven on sides look. Very, very nice. When I searched for the rock on um, on the gallery, this chick came up. So I think she's trying to be healthy, but she's looking a little scary. Anyways, this is her long hair uh, that came with the spa day pack. There's also this cute little bun look and a side braid. There's some really nice active wear for women, uh, lots of crop tops and a couple of items you can use as swimwear. In terms of bottoms, we've got lots of leggings, um, shorts, you know, some shoes, which males also have. So they're all active shoes. Let's check out build and buy. So if we jump into live mode, one of the things that I did like about this pack was that the Sims team at Maxis created some really nice builds of spas and this is one of them. But as I said earlier, the build and buy objects are my favorite part of this. So this is not a residential build, this is a spa community lot. So your Sims can go here and they can go get a massage can go do some yoga. But definitely my favorite part of this is the wallpaper tiles, um, timber wallpaper, and also timber flooring and tiling. So you can see a lot of it around here. If we take a look at it, there's some really nice glass doors and fountains. Uh, what else have we got here? Some nice fountain pieces to add uh, to your builds, which is kind of cool. And this is The Rock being super zen, enjoying a little bit of meditation. And as you level up in your skill, they will actually levitate, which is pretty hilarious. There are also yoga classes that are run at these community lots, which are pretty fun to take um, part in because it's so cute seeing all the Sims follow the instructor. So here we've got our Sim. She's just about to do a little yoga roti ro routine. <laughs> routine, routine. Oh my God, I can't talk. Oh, she's so bendy and elasticized. Damn, girl. These are the massage tables, so we can go get a massage and there's several different ones you can choose from, which is pretty nice. And you can also hire a masseuse to come to your home lot. So that's The Sims 4 Day Spa, uh, fun pack, 
Highlights for me is definitely, definitely build and buy mode and I would buy it for build and buy mode if you're a fan of building. Moving on. The third game pack to come to The Sims 4 has been The Sims 4 Dine Out that basically allows you to run your own restaurant or visit restaurants in your town uh, whilst you're playing your Sims. You have the ability to run a business and make money from your restaurants. You can hire whichever Sims you want. You can choose what they wear. You pick and choose what meal you want to have served and it's actually a lot of fun if you like more strategic gameplay and obviously you can visit or own your own restaurants which is pretty cool. Who better than to show off the creator sim items than Gordon Ramsay himself. So here is his sim I found on the gallery which I have to say is an amazing uh, sim version of him. They did a really really good job but really most of the creator sim items uh, from this pack are very chef-like and very waiter or waitress-like. We also have some visitor outfits for those of your Sims who are actually going to visit a restaurant to dine out and then just cut a couple of simple uh, aprons and pants. I don't know, to be honest, the creator Sim part of it wasn't that exciting for me. Uh, you know, this pack is definitely worth purchasing if you want that additional gameplay. There's this side swept hair, which is quite handsome that came with the pack. For females, there's actually three additional haircuts, which Gordon looks very cute in. I particularly like this haircut with the little ponytail out the back, and this is kind of uh, very pretty cascading long voluptuous waves uh, for your very fancy sims maybe. I don't think there was all that much in terms of kids. Again, Maxis made some really nice ready-made restaurants for you to put into your game. Uh, I believe this is one of them so you can kind of get an idea of the build and buy items if we visit this restaurant. As I mentioned, you can run your own restaurant and manage it, pick the menu, pick your staff. Uh, but in terms of visiting one, this is kind of how it works. You can go over here to the restaurant, request a table, they'll then seat you. Uh, you can see these two lovely ladies uh, having a nice little date together. And you, I mean, it's really cute seeing them whip out their menus and pick what they wanna order. You can get entree, you can get main, you can get dessert or a drink. Uh, and then you'll also notice that if you're running your own restaurant, customers will give reviews and you've got to work to get those reviews up. So it's a very big game pack in terms of additional gameplay. Most of the items are, you know, for decorating the restaurant. There's some nice oriental themed um, pieces. There's also some more basic pieces, which is in this, um, in this restaurant, uh, outdoor heaters, stuff like that. In terms of new items, you can see we got booths, uh, we've got some nice tables, lots of decorative objects, aquariums, which is fun. Uh, I love, I actually love the plants that came with this and some of the artwork is really nice. Also these long curtains in three different sizes I use a lot. Moving on to the last one. Moving on to my number one game pack, which is The Sims 4 Vampires. Now, I am not usually one to like the occult themes in The Sims 4 or the supernatural. However, this pack was done so nicely and in such a balanced way. It really was a pack I was very impressed by. I also love the build and buy objects in this pack. I think they're so nice. Uh, and really, really fun if you're a builder. So that probably ranks it to first place for me. For the vampire game pack, this is a huge game pack, not only for additional gameplay, because obviously you have vampires which come with new actions and new gameplay opportunities like sucking blood and researching the new vampire law skill. You can hunt vampires, you can convert sims to vampires, you can change them back to humans if you make a special recipe. It's just like a really full game pack. And there's also two new woohoos, the coffin woohoo and the bat woohoo. I'm gonna jump into create a sim here with uh, one of the Maxis made sims, Vlad, who I like to call Uncle Vlad. I just think he's such a cool looking sim. Um, but as you can see here, you have a normal sim form and you also have a vampire sim form. So you can alternate between the two during gameplay and also make them look very different. Create a sim's pretty amazing. You have amazing like different skin details. Um, so you can get different teeth which is pretty cool. You can get different eyes for vampires and all of these different brow um, details and cracks in the skin. So visually it's a really powerful pack 
And in terms of clothing, again, I'm not gonna go through all, all of it. Um, there's separate review videos on this that I have on my channel, but there's some really cool old Victorian clothes which are equally as amazing uh, for the female versions. Oh my gosh, if you check out these dresses, which Vlad looks amazing in, <laughs> they're just incredible. In terms of hair, there was this uh, very edgy look for boys and for females. There were some really interesting edgy also looking hair, but also very creative looking hairstyles. There's also some new aspirations too. I think one's to become a good vampire and the other one's to become an evil vampire. So that's a little bit of fun, uh, but let's check out some gameplay. Forgotten Hollow is a very eerie looking world. It's nighttime right now, but there's a lot of mist and like crows that fly around. There's some really cool Victorian houses here. And uh, over here is Uncle Vlad's big house, which is a really, really, really cool lot. Uh, let's just put that extra turret on top, which with some gravestones around it. Um, but if we go inside, Vlad is playing the new organ and you can see around him, there's a lot of the new build and buy items. I mean, look at these gorgeous chairs and statues and like thingamabobs on the walls and curtains. Uh, it's just like, there's so many cool items in here, new wallpapers, new carpets. They really went to town with this game pack. I love that there's hanging cobwebs and like really creepy picture frames and stuff. There's a lot of decor, like these. Oh, how cool are they? And the wallpapers and lighting is so cool. When you go into build and buy mode, another nice addition to this game pack is that there's a new soundtrack in the game when you're building uh, your houses, which is really cool. And another thing that's awesome is you can like teleport your Sims to different places depending on what vampire skill they're up to. Um, so Vlad can like literally teleport to a place without you having to wait for them to walk there. Huh. And uh, he, you know, he can change, he can do dark meditation, he can change into his dark form if you like. Uh, so there's a lot of cool things to do. And not to mention, uh, you can actually feed off other sims. So we can go over here and drink plasma, uh, compel for a deep drink. Let's go over there, Vladdy. So he can compel another sim to just come to him and he'll actually leave bite marks on their necks, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I just thought this was a really inspired pack. I feel like you can sense that the staff who worked on it were probably passionate about it, I hope, because I feel like it comes through the game and I think that's a reason why this is probably my number one. Anyways, so coming down to how I rate these game packs, I'm gonna have to say number one is the vampire game pack because of the amount of worth you get for your money. You get amazing new gameplay, a new sim type, a new mini world, amazing create a sim and build and buy items and heaps of new gameplay opportunity. Number two, I'm going to have to vote my favorite to be Spa Day just because I love build and buy items and I also love a lot of the creator sim items. Number three, I'm going to vote Dine Out. Uh, I feel like I'm not so much of a strategic player, although there was so much in that pack. Uh, it's just not something I use as much in my gameplay and that's probably just more of a personal preference than voting for it. Um, as a whole. And then probably my least favorite is Outdoor Retreat, not because I dislike it, but you know, it's the first game pack. It has a, in a way it feels like it has less in it. It's not as strong as the other ones, but that makes sense it being the first one that was released. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you want one on stuff packs and expansion packs as well, and I'll try and help you guys out and deliver that to you. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.